Yeah, I did pull next to your car because you parked in the center. So I'm gonna teach you a lesson. You're not gonna be able to get in there. So we're about to install the hitch on the X5. So let's get it out of the garage. But like I said, it came in this morning and it was like Lexi decided to leave all this extra space here. Say hi, Lexi. All right, so let's get started, guys. Wheels are very dirty. How long have they been clean? Like two days? Maybe not even that. Like I said, I was on call last night, so that probably explains why she decided to park there. I think I have all my tools here. I have everything listed. This is instruction. It says it should take about two and a half hours for install time. So it's got several things here to pick up as far as open up this cargo area. So things should be fairly simple, just somewhat time consuming. So I'm gonna get started with it. They gave me a seven way to four pin adapter. So I already have one of these, but it's nice that if you didn't own one, you have one already here. Apparently the M Sports have these things here and I have no idea. I've been trying to work with this thing and I looked online but it seems like no one seems to know. It seems like no one seems to have the M Sport because they have these little taps. So I'm just slowly working this thing out. I've already broken the one on the driver's side. So I'm sorry to the passenger side before I broke that one. So let me try not break this side and I break it. so I don't know if there's something special about this but it's was stuck in there so I'm about to figure out how to get this thing out and replace it later because I can't deal with having a missing piece the instructions recommend wrapping this piece up with some 
tape. So if you're not vibrating, it doesn't hit the paint. I don't think I'm gonna have that issue, so I may leave it alone.
make sure the lock is pointing up. And all you're gonna do right there, that click, that's the solid connection that you know that it is in. And all you're gonna do to lock it is press that button in and cover it. That's it. As long as this button is in, it means it's locked. It is not gonna come out at all. And you want to turn it clockwise per the instructions. And then the lock pops out. And from this point, there's a lever on this side. Just grab this, release, and that releases it, and it comes out. 